Okay, so now that we have renamed our file, this is part two in our protocol for sorting our data before we analyze it. Um, we need to go <coughs> to our file that we've already renamed. So you'll see that all of these files are now renamed. They have unique identifiers that are based on the metadata, the date and time that each of these pictures was taken. Okay. So the next thing you need to set up is a sort file. So all of the camera locations will be under a main folder called all pictures. Now I've named, I've named this all pictures example, um, but that, that should be okay. So you see I have MR1, which matches with the same example data set that I'm going to sort out here. Okay. So basically what you want to do have your sort file open next to the renamed folder and under each of your cameras you're going to have subfolders okay so you have an all pictures example file with all of the executable files from smallcats.org in that underneath that in the same folder okay has to be in the same folder you have all of your pictures, all of your, all of, sorry, all of your different camera locations labeled here. And then within these now, you have folders for each of the possible animals that you might find in a given area. Now, of course, some of these you won't find in, in Tobago and so on, but I just keep this as a default and copy this set of folders into each of my camera locations. That's good practice. Now, within each of these now, I have other subfolders indicative of the number of animals that I'm seeing in a particular picture. So if I have one of these pictures with one agouti, I'm going to copy it and paste it across it. If I see two agoutis in the picture, then I'm going to, cop I'm going to copy and paste it over here. Okay, so that's basically the idea. So now this is actually probably the most tedious part uh, of the entire process, actually sorting the data. So you can make these pictures extra large, but sometimes you actually need to open them up. Okay. So we're basically going to sort now. So I'm going to go through. All right. So, so these first three I would probably classify those as empty or, or sometimes what we call ghost because the camera is not, you know, sometimes it just takes pictures but you don't see any animal. And all of the empty would of course go into the one folder. So we're going to drag and drop those across. Okay, and then we continue. So this is a Kokriko. Same one Kokriko. I see one Kokriko still. And while we might not use this data, it's still important to sort it so we have a complete data set afterwards. Okay, we know exactly how many. So up till this tattoo that we see here is basically going to be Kokriko. So I could scroll down and I know that everything up till this picture here, which is of my tattoo, that's basically going to be Kokrikos. So I'm going to go into my birds folder and it's basically one Kokriko I'm seeing so I'm going to drag and drop into there okay right so now it's updated so now I know that I have a tattoo wandering around in this picture. Right, so 
up until about 8.27 where I'm seeing that tattoo wandering around. So I remember this is this is now in 24 format, so this is up till about here. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to my MR1. This is armadillo. I'm seeing one. So I'm moving that across to there now. Okay. And this is likely to be some sort of a rat or something. Little mouse. Now it's difficult to actually distinguish. This looks like um, uh, Mosa Murina, that little uh, looks like a little opossum there. You see, we're getting a good season, so all sorts of things. But basically, that's what you do. You basically have to go through and identify individuals uh, or uh, multiple individuals of each of these animals, okay? And you drag and drop into the respective animal folder and respective number folder depending on the number of animals that you see. If there's three agouti, you can add a folder and label it three. Okay, that's what these executable files are going to read. Okay, so it's important to realize that as well. Alright, so once we've sorted all of the data, we're ready to actually go about carrying out an analysis on our executable files, which I'll show in uh, video three. Okay, so we're actually going to conduct our analysis um, on the sorted data for MR1. Okay, so that's going to be in our next video.